Hello, everyone, and welcome to our CIG TV studios. I'm Donna Bush. With me in studio this morning are two wonderful ladies from the Ministry of Youth, Sports, Culture, and Heritage. We have the Chief Officer, Teresa Echeniki, as well as the Acting Deputy Chief Officer, Miss Alanis Linwood Amore. Before we begin our discussion this morning on the upcoming Heroes Day in 2023, we will first go to the Minister for uh, Youth, Sports, uh, Culture, and Heritage, the Honorable Bernie Bush. Each year, thousands of volunteers dedicate their time and resources to improving the lives of others in the Cayman Islands. Without volunteers and charitable services, many of the services, projects, and events we appreciate in our community would not be so readily available or possible. As a result, the Cabinet-approved theme for 2023 National Heroes Day is Volunteerism and Charitable Services. On behalf of the Ministry of Youth, Sports, Culture and Heritage, I am inviting the public to submit your nominations for consideration on those deserving persons or charitable organizations who are improving lives and strengthening communities through selfless acts. Please join me in thanking all those who generously give of their time and play a key role in enhancing our beautiful Cayman Islands. So ladies, thank you so much for being in studio here with us this morning. First off, when we hear about Heroes Day, a lot of people out there would want to know exactly what Heroes Day is, why it was started, when it was started. Can we start by explaining to the public? Sure. It is an amazing way for us to truly recognize the local heroes within our community. And in 1993, um, a law was passed. Uh, to recognize our national heroes. It wasn't until 2003, however, that we were uh, approved to have a public holiday for this event, and it's an entire day then of activities and a lovely event that takes place to truly recognize those persons that are deserving. Many people will say they're unsung heroes, but this is our opportunity to recognize them and uh, it's those people in our community that have gone above and beyond and so uh, that is the purpose of our national heroes day okay so nominations uh, the nomination period is about to open can we talk a little bit about that so the nominations open on september 5th and it goes till october 16th and all of the nominations this year will be electronically, so they are online, which is, which is good. And we have made it very convenient for the public where they can access the form on www.glv.ky forward slash YSCH. And there will be a button that says nominate for NHD. So to access the form, once they press that button, they will be um, driven to a landing page and then it gives them instructions on how to apply. Okay, well, I think that's wonderful that we're doing it that way because, you know, it's the times that we live in. Mm -hmm. However, there will be people out there um, who may be older, may, may not be used to using uh, doing things electronically. Is there a way that they can nominate persons as well? Of course. So we have um, considered that. So we are actually partnering with the Cayman Islands Library Services. Mm -hmm. um, so members of the public can actually go there and um, ask for assistance for um, the accessing the online forms mm -hmm. and and also we are encouraging people to you know um, ask a friend or a colleague to help them with the nomination forms we want to keep them electronic it's easier for them and also for us when we are collecting a lot of data mm -hmm. any particulars about the form that they may fill out on online or even in person on a hard copy uh, that they need to remember to, to, to actually fill out and complete the form um, so that their person can be actually put in successfully for nomination? So when they access the form, they will be prompted a question on which category they're applying under. Mm -hmm. So the categories this year um, are divided into four. Three of them are for individuals, mm -hmm. and the other one is for charitable services. So the first category is early pioneers, and we are looking for individuals who are either deceased or alive, who have been the founder or have exceptionally contributed to the development of the voluntary services okay. before, prior to 1980. Okay. And then the second category focuses on pioneers. So that category is almost similar to the first one, but we're looking for exceptional contributors who have had 20 plus years experience in 
voluntary services. Mm -hmm. And then they also have to meet subcategories of role, impact, reach, engagement, and inspiration. How has the individual succeeded in those fields in the Cayman Islands? Mm -hmm. And then the third category is um, philanthropists. So these are individuals who have made um, monetary donations to charitable services up to a certain figure mm -hmm. um, of Cayman dollars. And then the last one, which focuses on the non-for-profit organization. So we're looking for charitable services who have made um, significant contributions, sorry, to the development, enhancement, safety, and well-being to the Cayman Islands for 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, Ms. Teresa, every year I, I'm sure that there's uh, people are inundated with, with uh, nominations. Um, what would you say to persons out there um, who may put in a nomination, but, you know, it may not be successful? Um, can you just explain, you know, why, how that process works and why everyone can't be nominated? Sure. And uh, especially with this subject area and this theme, we understand and we appreciate there are so many people in our community that is providing some type of voluntary services, but we do have specific criteria and guidelines mm -hmm. um, to determine who has gone over and beyond. And we want to truly give recognition to those persons uh, that fit into these categories. So mm -hmm. as Alana said, when they're completing the form, there are specific categories to take into consideration. And the information should be very detailed so that we are clear, do they fit into the categories that we are indeed looking for and that the, the committee will take into consideration. Right. And uh, we understand and we appreciate that based on the number of people that give up their time and their effort that we won't be able to recognize any everyone. However, it's important that we take this opportunity to extend our gratitude and appreciation to them for mm -hmm. all that they do. And hopefully their time will come when they will later get the recognition as well. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about um, when National Heroes Day is, what the date is for this big event, uh, and just remind folks exactly where they can go, um, to get the form or, or otherwise have somebody help them? So the public holiday is the fourth Monday in January. So it will be uh, January 2023. Mm -hmm. And um, the event itself will take place on that Monday. Um, I think that it's important that as we go through and we look again at the nominations, that we're encouraging um, persons to be very creative in their thought process, mm -hmm. put in um, supporting documents. Um, there's a part in the nomination form for persons to add, mm -hmm. whether it's pictures, whether it's certificates, documents that they might have to support why this individual would be a suitable candidate. Right. So uh, those are pieces that we are encouraging, um, whether it is an organization or whether it's an individual. And I think the beauty of this year as well is we have the opportunity not only to recognize an individual, but an organization mm -hmm. as well, who overall have done significant works and contributed significantly to our community. As it relates to Heroes Day, though, one thought that came to mind for me is, I know that this is volunteerism and, and so on and so forth, uh, but there are young people who do a lot of volunteering and have pretty much done it since they were, you know, before they were preteens or what have you, but they may now be in their 20s. Uh, what's, is there an age group that you can nominate somebody for? Is there a particular age group that somebody can be nominated? I think the um, categories will highlight and distinguish um, exactly who can be nominated. Mm -hmm. And again, not everyone will fit into the categories, unfortunately. Right. But we are also hopeful that when their organization or their club is recognized, that they will appreciate and accept the recognition through that open body as opposed to that individual. But we are looking for some of the founders mm -hmm. um, that have been a part of the establishment of these 
um, nonprofit organization and these charitable organizations and really give credit to the starting of where these charitable organizations came from. Okay. What would you say to, to folks out there who um, have been part of an organization, for instance? I mean, we know that there's some um, nonprofits in Cayman that have been around a very long time. Uh, they have been, they may not necessarily be nominated for, and, and I mean, when you think about it, what would you say to people out there to encourage them to nominate individuals and nominate these, 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 these groups of, of, of people? I think we as individuals, as the public, should truly step back and look at the benefits mm -hmm. that these non-charitable organizations contribute to our community. And when we do that, mm -hmm. It's almost a no-brainer. It just becomes natural that we want to submit nominations on whether it's an individual or an organization behalf so that they can get the recognition that they truly deserve. And I don't think that we should take it for granted that, oh, somebody else will nominate. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. We can have more than one nomination for an individual or for a nonprofit mm -hmm. um, association. So if we get multiple nominations, that's perfectly okay. That just confirms the amount of contribution that that individual or that organization is making to our community. Mm -hmm. So please don't sit back and assume somebody else will do it. We're encouraging the public, please submit your nomination for those very deserving persons our associations that you know is doing an amazing job in our community. Okay, Ms. Alanis, if you could remind persons where to find the form online again so and the, the deadline. No problem. So the form can be accessed through www.chilv.ky forward slash YSCH. The deadline is 16th of October 2022. So please, I do um, make a call out to everyone to please submit their forms before the deadline. Mm -hmm. um, after the deadline, uh, no forms will be um, considered. Okay. And then if they have any other questions, they can email nhd at gov.ky okay. or call 244-2424. And we'll be able to answer any questions. However, the ministry's Facebook page, Instagram, um, CIG, um, also media pages will share a lot of information should they require it. Okay, any final words? I think that this, again, is an amazing opportunity for us to recognize those persons and those associations in our community mm -hmm. that is truly contributing um, and uh, we encourage the public, please submit nomination forms will be available from the 5th of September and um, straight through until October the 16th. So take advantage of this time and let us extend our um, appreciation to those persons so very well deserving of this. Okay, any final words from you, Ms. Alanis? Or? I'm just looking forward to working with the nomination committee and seeing all of these charitable services being recognized. I think it's one of the first times that, that the government or us as an island have recognized organizations and individuals for contributing without any compensation. So I think it's quite amazing that we're get, getting to this and I'm looking forward to, yeah, here is the next year. Okay, ladies, thank you so much for being here with us. Of course, thank you to the listening and viewing public uh, for joining us for this important conversation. Remember the deadline to get in your applications or your nominations for National Heroes for next year uh, is the 16th of October.